Hello, ma'am. First of all, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to meet with me today. My name is Ed Greisman. My friends call me Greasy, but that's besides the point. As you know, I'm a world-renowned dance instructor. Many of my pupils have performed on shows like Dancing with Stars and So You Think You Can Dance Good. But even at the height of my career, I, I felt like something was missing. I have to give more to the world than just dancing. I need to express myself through other avenues. Music. I've painstakingly written down the most beautiful symphony of all time. It's all right here, you don't have to believe me, but it's in the pages. I see you're skeptical. You're probably wondering why one of the greatest dancers on earth would want to compose music. Can you keep a secret? At the height of my career, I was involved in a very serious hip thrusting accident. Fifteen people died. I won't get into details, but uh, it was a bloodbath. It was terrible. I promised myself that I would never thrust my hips again. My hips are now illegal in the state of California. I have to have my underwear specially reinforced with mithril. In the words of Oppenheimer, my hips am become death, destroyer of worlds. You know what they say, it's better to have thrust and lost than never to have thrust at all. The thrust that doesn't kill us makes us stronger. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single thrust. I thrust, therefore I am. Idle hips are the devil's playground. In fact, I sold my soul to the devil for the most powerful hip thrusts in the universe. And then I hip thrust that devil right in the face and took my soul back. You think it's funny? Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Anyway, during that hip thrusting tragedy, I had a vision of a song. So beautiful, so magnificent, it would make little baby Jesus cry tears of joy. I vowed to share my vision with the world, so I painstakingly learned how to play instruments. Like this thing, and this thing here. And this one. I learned all the chords. I can jump octaves like a beast. I know what the word timbre means. And I can play the fiddle with my toes. And of course, in my musical journey, I heard of yourself. I know you're a great composer. Your work is awe-inspiring. You can even claim the rights to this song if you want to, but I must share it with the world. I know you understand. You must understand. You couldn't have come so far without understanding what true passion for music really is. So please, I humbly beg of you, help this old dancing fool bring his music to life. Stonewalling me, huh? The least you can do is answer me after I've confessed all my deepest, darkest secrets. You're sick. You think you're so good. What kind of person has other people slaving over them? I see your poor servants at your beck and call, taking care of your every whim. You got fat from sucking the teat of privilege. Sitting there on your throne of lies. You can't even stop shitting yourself. Well, I won't sit here and become another one of your cronies. Greasy won't be disrespected like that. Greasy don't play. 